Yeah, Driven by Mars 12.1 is out and it brings even more Machine fun. Last update supported the Machine Jam and now we also get support for the Machine Plus as well as the older model, the Machine Mark II. And I will not show you everything with the Mark II because the feature set is quite identical to what you can do on a Mark III. So also watch my Mark III videos. But uh, there are some slight difference uh, with the buttons you have available so let me show you that. Uh, let's start here in the lower part uh, with the transport section. So if you look at the transport section you would see there is no stop button here. The erase button is here lower and we have instead here two step buttons. So what I did. Erase is still erase and the left step button acts as the stop as well as a shift button. So if you start playback and you press that it will stop and if you keep it pressed it acts like the shift button. For example, you see here on the redo, you can access and can also trigger the other shift combinations. The right step button acts here the same as the tap metro. So you can here also toggle the metronome uh, with that one. And the rest is the same here in the transport section. So also groups are the same. So you can have the group things like the, the solo combinations to activate solo. Also mute is identical and going up here in the master section uh, here on a mark 3 and the machine plus we have this 4d encoder which you can move in four directions for navigation here on the mark 2 we have instead these two cursor keys so you can use that instead of going left right with that one you can use that button and to go up down you can use the shift combination so use the shift and left right for these uh, combinations which moves here the bank in that case in steps of eight. Uh, moving on, volume swing tempo selection is the same. We have it here. So if you switch to that, you can change here your playback position, which you also see here in the display. And you can also press the encoder to move in, in slower values for changing, for example, the position. And here you can also fine grain change uh, the tempo. And if you go back, you can go back to the fast mode and change here uh, in the bigger steps of the value. So not repeat is the same, there's no repeat here and the lock one here triggers the override mode and we can change the same here with the enter button. So that one toggles override and with shift and enter you can also toggle the override mode for the clip launcher. So moving up here in the upper part, this is also pretty the same. We have here an arranger button and the mixer button which is missing so we don't have these features here but I think they are not that important. And on the machine plus the arranger is named now ideas but this is also I think not big of a difference. One difference here to note is the step button which has here a different function because what we are missing here on the Mark II are these four buttons above our pad grid which is used here to access the different keyboard play modes. So you have here the keyboard and the pad mode and these two modes are accessed here on the Model 2 instead uh, with that button and uh, with uh, where is it here is it uh, it's also named pad mode and keyboard which uh, replaces here the events events instead is here put now on select since the select is not really used here in that case on the mark 3 it's no problem that we use now that button for the events which also say events pressing here that we can go to the drum pad mode and the drum pad mode we should have a drum device so you will see here the drum pads for the drum pad device. Device. And now to enter into the step sequencer, which is uh, triggered here with the fourth button, is now put here on that step button. So you need to press that to go into the sequencer step programming mode for that. Leaving that also going back to the keyboard is here with shift and keyboard as it says on a button. So this is also accessible. The only one missing here is a chords button, which I could not replace on anything else because everything is already cramped and crowded. But I think we can go also that. So if you have an older Mark II model it's now also fully supported in Bitwig and in Reaper and have fun with it and make some funky music.